Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, we're just sitting here in line waiting to hop onto this brand new suspended roller coaster. Now, this is the finished roller coaster, but it was started during a live stream. So I'm going to put a link in the description, guys, if you do want to see a bit of this build process and maybe even get some own ideas for your roller coasters. So the suspended roller coaster is actually the second one that I have made. Now this one right here, the wooden coaster, is the first one. Now these coasters are built in the tile editor using tile assets. Now I just wanted to quickly show you guys this. Now if you did miss this video, this one is extremely epic. I'm going to leave a link in the description and up, up in the top corner there if you guys do want to see this roller coaster as well as the suspended one. So in this video, we're going to be hopping onto this suspended roller coaster, taking it for a ride. We're going to discuss the tile assets, the design of the coaster and then I'm going to try and edit a really cool first person view matching the speeds of an actual roller coaster and then we're going to finish it off with testing the automated function where we can have multiple carts running simultaneously. It's going to be loads of fun. So let's get into it. Alright, so before we actually go and take this roller coaster for a ride, we can take a moment here to see the station as well as the support beam. So we can go up these front steps here guys. I have it kind of like a, an amusement park. We got our footpath that leads all the way up to these large stairs right here and they bring us right into the station. Now, as you can see, we got some guardrails and stuff and there it is. This is the cart mounted up on the tracks. Now, I kind of... It's kind of difficult, guys, in the tile editor when you're trying to, like, scale things, you know, as you can see. Uh, we're kind of short to get up into those seats, but that's okay, you know, we can... We can jump up there or something, but as you can see, we got this really awesome station that we can store a couple of those carts. Now, down here, I have a spot where you can use your lift to put it up on the tracks, and out here, guys, it exits to the actual roller coaster itself. Now, I just wanted to show you guys these support beams. Now, I put these support beams all over. Now, obviously, they're not actually supporting anything, because otherwise, you would just have these roller coaster tracks floating in the air through the uh, tile editor. So in this case, it just kind of adds a layer of detail to this build, and I'm really happy with the way they turned out. And these things are, they're actually quite massive, really. So as you can see, though, the roller coaster does exit out of an awesome tunnel. We've got some really cool Moonbow logos up on the top there as well. And there is another one hidden over there that we're going to see really soon that I'm really, really happy with. Now, there's not really much else to talk about down here, so... Why don't we hop into our roller coaster itself just like so. We're going to turn it on and away we go, guys. All right, so here we go. We are now going up the first incline. We're going to get up here to this little bend. Now, this is really cool. We get a good chance to see all of these support beams right here. Look at them all, guys. All right, there we go. So we're going to go downhill and we're going to do our first loop. Now, I'm going to mention, obviously, guys, this is not the fastest roller coaster. Now, Khan suggested that I use the two-time, uh, like, coaster tracks because they do allow for much more stable runs. Uh, so I'm thinking the next time I ever do make a roller coaster, I'm definitely going to take that advice and we're going to try it out like that because I would love to be able to go faster. And that's why I'm actually going to do a little edit of the speed to show you guys what it might look like as if it was really going fast. All right, so this is it, guys. We are going up. This is like the apex drop. This is the highest drop on the coaster. Look at this. We have such a huge view. Now, I'm just going to stop it right here. Normally, you know, you wouldn't want to do that. We'd have to get some emergency services here or something. But look at this, guys. We are so high up in the air right now, and I absolutely love this view. And even in the first person, look at that. We can kind of imagine our feet dangling down or something. And this is the vertical drop. Now, this is going to go straight down vertical. So here we go. We are dropping all the way down, defying gravity by the looks of it. And here we go. Now we are in our first tunnel. Now this is kind of like my favorite design aspect here. Look at this. We have this awesome curving track. And look at that. It's as if we are in the orbit of the Moonbow logo. I absolutely love that. And then, of course, we go through the second tunnel. And then we're going up another lift here. Now look at this, guys. This is like a big mountain that I had to make for the tunnel. Really happy with the way that turned out. And then here we go. This is the double loop-de-loop. -loop. During the stream, guys, people were very, very adamant that I add a double loop-de-loop. -loop. So there's the first one. And here we go. We are going through the second one. And I love it, guys. I put those support beams through the center of the loop-de-loops -loops just to be able to kind of give it some support. I wanted to avoid 
having the floating track effect. That's what I would call it anyway. So we go through the final bend just like so. And there we go guys, look at this, we arrive at our station. Now as you can see there is a giant white square. So the white square is actually going to stop us, and it's going to count for 20 seconds. And after 20 seconds, this entire thing will go again for another run. Now, I'm going to be doing some testing of the uh, multi-car function in a moment. But the first thing I wanted to do was get some first-person view, and I'm going to edit it to make it seem like we are actually going as fast as a roller coaster. Okay, I... Oh, whoops, it's gone. All right, so now it is time for the first person view where I'm going to adjust the speed to make it seem a little more realistic. So here we go, guys, in three, two, one, let's go. All right, so I am still recording right now, so I am not sure how that is going to turn out when it comes to speeding it up at certain points to make it more realistic. So basically, guys, you should let me know down in the comments, did it look good? What did you think of it? Because I really do hope it did turn out. But now, guys, we're going to start testing the multi-cart function. So we've got the one cart mounted on the roller coaster at the moment. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is we're going to hop down here and we're going to spawn... I'm thinking maybe we'll try and get away with uh, three carts running simultaneously. I don't know if that's going to work or not. So let's try and get these carts mounted onto the tracks. All right, so I am actually kind of surprised here, guys. We have three of the carts loaded up onto the roller coaster, and I am really not lagging whatsoever. So we're going to test this out now, though. Uh, so basically all we have to do, though, is there is a switch back here behind the cart. We're going to turn it on just like that, and there it goes, cart number one. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to activate the second one just like so, and it's going to stop right here. So as you can see, we have this big white square, and that is activating a sensor. You know what, we'll just hop down here. There's a sensor right here that gets triggered by the white square. So what happens is it starts a timer, it kills the motor on the roller coaster itself, and it's basically just going to keep on counting. It counts 10 seconds up and then 10 seconds down. And then there you go, the next cart goes. So I guess we could have probably prepped this one a little bit more in advance here. But we're going to turn this one on. And we're going to see it go right up to that white square. And there it is, guys. It's just going to count up and down again. And eventually it's going to go. But you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to hop onto this one here, guys. So we can kind of keep track of the other two carts. All right, so we are now off... We're gonna go up. I'm gonna turn off strict follow cam. All right, so there we see one going down into the cave right now. See that one? Which one is that? Is that the first one? Okay, yeah, that one was definitely the first one. Because if we look underneath us, we're actually kind of crossing paths. This actually looks so cool. Look at that. There is another one over there. And that one's going over to the apex. That is the, uh, the second cart that we sent out. All right, there we can see it just in the corner. The uh, second cart just went into the mountain tunnel. It's about to eject out of that tunnel and go into orbit for a second. And here we are now. We are making our way to the steep angle. Now, where's the other one? Okay, there it is. So the other one is just finishing, I think, 
Did it just finish the double loops? Yes, it did. It just finished the double loop-de-loop. -loop, and now here we are going up to the vertical drop. And that one there is about to hit those double loops as well. All right, so it seems like, though, the, uh, the first cart is now finished. It is in the station waiting to go again. Okay, wow, look, did you see that? We saw a quick glimpse of it in the distance there going up the first rise again. That is so cool. All right, so I'm wondering where are we going to see the second cart? Did it already? No, there it is. Okay, I thought it was already in the station, but now there it is. It's going into the station now. The first cart should be somewhere over there. Yeah, okay, so the first cart just went through the first loop-de-loop, -loop, and now here we are going through the double loop-de-loop. -loop. And it looks so cool, guys, being able to see multiple carts running at once. All right, so we are coming down through the final bend here. Now, I'm thinking... The second cart should probably... Okay, there it is, and there it is. So look at that. The second cart is now going up the hill, and we are coming into the station just like so, right behind it. And it seems like it's pretty well spaced out. I think the uh, the 20 second timer there, uh, I think that's a pretty appropriate amount of time to stop here in the station before it keeps going again. So guys, that is going to be the video for today. I really do hope you did enjoy this suspended roller coaster. Now, like I mentioned, guys, it was live streamed. Uh, so there'll be links to go check out the live stream. There's also going to be a link to check out that wooden coaster, which was the original tile asset roller coaster that I did make. So guys, if you did enjoy these roller coaster builds, then make sure you hit that like button. Let me know something down in the comments as well. What did you think of these builds or the video? And guys, if you want to see more endless scrap mechanic, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Maybe even turn on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.